how we usually start off the interviews is we we ask you how your training camp's gone. So how's your training camp gone, Sia? Oh, <laughs> it's been it's been everything that I needed for the past few years, yeah, well, because we have experienced different 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 tactics of boxing, you know. Uh, I've been taught some new things, you know, even bettering my style. You know. So uh, I'm, I'm loving the training camp you know, and everything about it. I'd be silly not to ask you how, how are you feeling since you've come up to Gauteng. Obviously, you're from the Eastern Cape originally. You've moved up here. You've made a decision for your career. How's life been up here? Uh, Mr. Managa has made it uh, pretty easy for me. You know. Um, he is giving me accommodation, free accommodation. He's giving me everything that I need. Everything that I need. Like I, can, I can't be specific, but everything that I needed, um, I'm, I'm getting it now. It's things that I haven't been given in the Eastern Cape. So yeah, it's been it's been good. The move has been good. You're fighting a guy, Sive. He's he's in a position that you used to be in, where you were the young up and coming guy. He's now the young up and coming guy. You're the established guy in the fight, right? So you've had the experience. How do you see him as an opponent? Sive, he's not a, he's not that tough. I I I think because of his record and yeah. People assume that he's the toughest nut to crack. No, he is not. Like watching his fights, eh? Puff, I've, I've watched to see him since he was a very young boy. And now that I, I have to fight him, it's, I don't think it's a bit, like it's, it's not a big fight as people assume it is. It's, 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 it's nothing, it's, it's, it's really nothing to me. The first thing that stands out about his record is his 100% knockout record. For that weight division, it's kind of rare to see. How do you take it? Where is be, who has he been beating? You know, that's the problem. If, if, you look at, if, uh, if you look at his opponents, eh, where has he beaten? Like who? <laughs> I don't even know the guys he was fighting. So. That record means nothing to me. It means nothing. Looking at your career, now let's go back a couple of years back where you were still in the Eastern Cape. You got you got the Sampiwe Conco fights. Didn't go 100% that, uh, for you that day. I don't know. You said you were feeling sick, if I recall, uh, when you came up to Johannesburg. You then got rushed into a fight against Heki Butler straight afterwards. How do you feel now looking back at your... Uh, back then? I've made some some pretty stupid decisions in my life because the conquer fight I wasn't supposed to fight the doctor told me not to fight but then because I was young and ambitious I thought as Congo is I look at my abilities and I thought I'm nah, an Congo so it it, it it did catch up in the fight and against against Hake I changed the trainer yeah, well, and come on, uh, I was in hundred percent fit. Even, even, even looking, I, I was, I was looking at that fight um, f a few days back. I think I would have, uh, I could have done better. Ne? If, 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 if only I had a, a, a trainer who, who had, like, who, who was the heck before and, and was me and and improved my style, you know. Because I went there with with that mentality that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm talented. I can beat Heki. That was all. It was all in my mind. But when it came it came to us fighting, it was a different kind of story. So I believe if if I, if if he, if if Coach Her was training me now to fight oh, 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 Heki, I think I would have beaten Heki. But then things didn't go my way. Now we're going to go to the current times. Uh, you're going to be back uh, fighting in the Eastern Cape on a Rumble Africa bill. Interesting, uh, interestingly enough, Sive is the guy from Rumble Africa. So 
he, he's effectively their guy. Who do you think the fans are going to turn out for more? The fans are, oh, if, if, if you look at Facebook already, you know, the fans are, are behind CV, most of, but I do have uh, support back at home. Uh, I believe that it will be 50-50 in terms of pay fans. You know, I, don't, I don't think you, you will have more. In fact, I, I can have more fans than him in the Eastern Cape, you know, so. In terms of if if fans are, I, I don't even I don't even stress about it. Everyone can talk about about us fighting, but it's gonna be me and CV in the ring. Everyone can talk whatever they want, how they feel. The fight is gonna go, but at the end of the day, it's, it's <laughs> it will be a different ball game when when I'm facing CV. IBF international title on the line for you here. Big opportunity for you to get in the rankings. Uh, how have you seen this as an opportunity? It is the reason why we took the fight. Sive is my. Is, I took him. I take him as my as my uh, as my boy. Ne? Uh, I advise him not to take the fight because yeah, for he like he's already in the international level you know, and and. Since I since I haven't been fighting boxing for some time, I thought no man, this was a wrong move for him to fight me. Yeah. But then they insisted that I fight him, and I needed the fight. You know, I needed to 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 get back in 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 the international level. So I thought I'm why not? Because you 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 can you can you will never beat me anyway. You will he will never beat me anyway. Back at the Orient Theatre again. It's uh, your stomping ground where you where you do so well. Are you happy and excited to go back? I'm very happy that I'm going to Orient Theatre. It's been my wish all, for for all the time I've been here. Uh, it, yeah, like it's it's been my wish to go back to East London. Ah, I love the whole, I love the the atmosphere of of, of the fans in Orient Theatre. So ah. I can't explain the feeling, man, going back home. <laughs> I can't explain the feeling. Okay, now you're going to have to give us a prediction for this fight. What are you predicting? <laughs> uh, we've trained for, for to go a distance. Eh? But I don't see I don't see it going a distance. Uh, I think I, I think CV is still still maturing. You know? Like, uh, I won't take away the fact that he is a good, smart boxer, but still lacks experience, you know. And 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 him fi fighting the kind of opponents that he was fighting, it it, it doesn't give him much any much of experience. Yeah? I, I think I think I have more experience than him, and <laughs> I don't see the fight going a distance. I don't I don't I really don't see him going to full 12 rounds with me. And then just lastly, do you, um, do you have a message for, for, for Siva? <laughs> uh, I don't like speaking that much. But it's not my thing. My thing is fighting. So uh, For Siva, I hope he is prepared enough for the fight. I hope that he's going to give me a run for my money, but I know that the title is mine. You know, uh, I, don't, I don't doubt that. So that's all I have to say. Uh, nothing more. Thank you.